Okay, after setting up the whole configuration, now let's start with the actual practical. So the part one says configure the root bridge. So we have to determine that which particular switch is acting as a current root bridge. So for that, you have to go to the central switch and issue the command called show spanning hyphen tree. So let's go to central here and here's the window, the password, if it asks you, it was like what you have said, remember it and kindly enter it. So for like me, it was Cisco ENPA55. So I've already entered the password. I'm in the privilege mode now. So inside in the like privilege mode, we have to fire this command called show spanning tree hyphen tree and then enter. So we'll get a lot of information here and we'll see now currently this bridge is only acting as a root actually it may happen that in your case it will show you like switch one is acting as a root no matter fine so this is the current root bridge but still we'll fire those command if it is not acting as a root bridge so we'll go to the step two now so and see like how to fire those command then assign the central as the primary root bridge if it is not in your case also so this is the command let's fire it here Okay, get yourself into configuration mode, con ft. So the command is spanning hyphen tree VLAN one root primary. Okay, so through this command, we are making the central switch as a root bridge. Okay. Now, the next thing is like assign the SW1, the switch. Okay, on the left hand side of the central, this switch, okay. Assign SW1 as a secondary root bridge. So we have to go to the switch one now and fire this command spanning hyphen tree VLAN one root secondary. Okay, so this was declared, the central switch is declared as primary. So now we have to switch to switch one. Let's go to switch one. Okay, go to CLI, enter. If you have set the password, it will ask you for the password. Get yourself into configuration mode and fire the command. Spanning hyphen tree VLAN one and then I guess root and then secondary. Yeah, root secondary. Okay, and then enter. Okay, now we have to verify the span entry configuration. So again, you can go back to central switch and to the CLI and then exit from here from the configuration mode. Get yourself into privilege mode and fire the command show spanning tree. Now again, you will see we were getting the output before also same because it was acting as a root bridge only. So we're getting the same output here. Okay. So this bridge is the root. This is what they have highlighted here. So now current root is the central. Great. Now we have to start protecting the network with the against the STP attacks. Okay. So for that port fast. Okay. We have to use port fast. Basically port fast is a feature. Okay. Which causes the switch port to enter the span entry forwarding state immediately bypassing the whole learning and listening states. So it makes the things very much easy. Okay. To send the frames there. So we have to configure the port fast here on all the access ports that connect to a single workstation on a server, enable them to become active more quickly. So we have to go to the switch a now, which are connected through workstations here and uh, on the interfaces one to four, like the C1, C2, C3, C4. Okay, we have to fire this command called spanning tree port fast. So go to switch A, go to CLI, enable it, get yourself in configuration mode and choose the interface that is interface FA0 slash 1, 2, 4, something like this, right? FA0 or F0 and then enter it's a uh, invalid they are saying okay fine so that A will not come so int okay I've missed the word called range okay range 
no worry we can have a also here and then 0 slash 1 hyphen 4 enter so we are in configuration interface range mode we are reconfiguring in the whole interface range and the command is we have to fire is span entry port fast enter okay and you'll get a lot of output and they have just mentioned like what port fast is all about you can go ahead and read it similarly now we have to close this go for like switch b here cli enable it get yourself into configuration mode choose the interface range fa0 slash 1 to 4 and this is for like pc's workstation d1 to d4 okay for switch b and then enter and paste the command that like this spanning tree port fast and then enter done after doing this we have to also enable the bpdu guard as previously i mentioned basically attacker sends the bpdu packets okay those are nothing but bridge protocol data unit so bpdu is an attempt to force an scp recalculation and that thing should not happen so for that we have to enable the bpdu guard on both the switches so let me go to switch a for switch a configuration select the again the same range and then fire this command called spanning tree bpdu guard enable i'll simply copy it go to switch a cli we are already in the same configuration you all can see that is configuration interface range mode only okay if you if like if you're confused again so you can simply exit from here and again choose the same range and then fire that command paste it enter and we are through close it same goes for switch b you can simply paste the command here because the the same range of interface have been already selected we are configuring the same thing so paste it and then again enter so we have just enabled the bpdu guard here to prevent us from bpdu attacks so here we are done with this thing now we have to enable the root guard this is step number three which is the final step for part two so root guard can be enabled on all the ports of the switch that are not root ports like the switch one and switch two are not root ports so we have to enable uh, the root guard there so it is best deployed on the ports that connect to the another not root switch so basically central switch here you all can see is connected to this non root switch switch one and switch two so we have to configure root guard there and uh, if you remember we have selected and make the connection here on the interfaces 2 3 and 2 4 between the switches so we have to enable the root guard there so for that we have to go to the switch one now switch one go to cli okay select the interface range that is fa0 slash 23 to 24 so we are in configuration interface range and i'll paste the command this is not the command sorry so what was the command let me check that is spanning tree guard root okay i'll just copy this i'll come here and then paste it and then enter okay same thing goes for switch 2 close this switch 2 cli enable configuration mode choose the interface range fa0 slash 23 to 24 and then enter and then paste that is spanning hyphen tree guard root and we are done with this part now let's discuss the part 3 that is configure the port security and disable all the unused ports so here in the step one they have given that we have to configure the basic port security on all the ports connected to the host devices we are talking about switch a and switch b because those two switches are only connected to the host devices we have eight devices here so this procedure is should be informed on all the access ports basically we all know like how like what access ports we have already occupied that means 0 to 4 in like in the south direction 23 24 in the north direction we have occupied but here they have just mentioned that we will apply the security on from 1 to 22 not on 23 and 24 because already we have applied security there in the previous commands using the previous commands right so let let's go to the switch a here and configure 
this interface range from 0 1 to 22 okay so let me go to switch a and let me come to cli mode and then enter enable it into configuration mode and let's see the command carefully okay let me explain what is happening here so let me choose the interface first so we have to configure for all the range like interface range from f0 slash 1 to 22 okay not including 23 and 24 then enter of course there are some unused ports are also there but we'll cover that part like how to disable them okay so let's apply the security first for this range and uh, we are setting we are talking about switch port and we are talking about access okay so switch port mode access and uh, we, have, we have to apply the security here so switch port switch port space port hyphen security and then we have to set like how many maximum number of mac addresses are allowed so that we get rid of cam flow table attacks you know so we have to say okay maximum two mac addresses are allowed maximum two okay then enter and uh, then again we have to say if violation happens then it should shut down and the last command says the switch port port security mac address sticky actually sticky means we are securing mac addresses here means switches will be able to learn mac addresses from the devices like the devices which are connected to the switches dynamically and they will enter all those entries properly in the table so it, like this thing is like making the switches dynamic okay they will learn the mac addresses from the devices connected to the switch port so sticky stands for that and then click enter and we are done we are through basically and we can simply click say exit and exit and the same command we have to fire on switch B so you can simply copy this command from here and directly paste it on the switch B so I will do the same thing I'm coming here on the switch B now okay uh, then enter enable it get myself into configuration mode okay and then I'll just say paste so all the commands are here and then enter okay so I fired all these commands on switch A and switch B both so now we'll verify the port security so on switch A issue the command show port security interface F01 okay which is connected to workstation you all know let me come to switch A now workstation C1 we are talking about switch uh, this interface FA01 right so we are in uh, privilege mode already let me fire the command show port security interface 01 and then enter and you will see here that port security has been enabled status is up violation mode if happens it will shut down zero minutes and then maximum mac addresses are allowed to and uh, we have not got any last source mac addresses currently because no frames have been traveled from like any work session so we'll do one thing here and they also have mentioned here that we have to ping c1 to c2 and issue the command again and we'll see if it dynamically learns the address of c1 which is a device connected directly to the switch port okay so let me close this go to c1 so the mac uh, ip address for that was 10 for c1 so basically c2 was 11 so we'll go to the desktop here again go to command prompt and try to ping that PC 10.1.1.11 which is C2 okay and then enter and we are getting the reply here okay so frames must have traveled via switch A now let me close this again come back on switch A 
and issue the same command and let's see if you can see some different entries here so you will see that this was the last source address okay the frame which arrived from c1 towards c2 was this the this was the mac address for it and uh, total now mac address is one they have counted okay if some other device i don't know from where if they try to send frame on this switches okay so one more mac address will get registered and after that those two mac address no more mac address will be allowed and this way we will try to avoid or ignore or prevent camp table overflow attack okay and the one last thing that is step number 3 that disable the unused ports so here coming on switch get yourself into configuration mode and uh, choose the interface range that is from f a0 slash 5 to 22 if you clearly remember 23 24 were occupied 1 to 4 were occupied so 5 to 20 were like unused ports so we are choosing that range and making that range of ports shut down okay so it has been shut let me see and let me do it for like switch b also let me exit from this mode we are back in and choose the range interface fa 0 slash 52 22 and then i forgot to mention the word range here yeah range fa 05 to 22 enter and then say shut down okay if you want to verify you can simply verify by placing the mouse here on the switches of a and b so you will see 1 2 3 4 are up and uh, 23 24 are up rest all ports are down same goes for switch b and we are through we are done with this practical thank you that's all guys from this video if you really like this video press like button and do subscribe to our channel if any queries or suggestions do comment below for more such update follow us on instagram and facebook